After rescuing the emperor from Shun An, Cao Cao leads him to his own capital of Shu Cheng. His control of the revered emperor of the long reigning Han dynasty gives him a certain prestige. Elsewhere, Yuan Shu's faction is gradually losing support. Panicking, he does the unthinkable. He declares himself emperor, basing his claim on the imperial seal he had taken from the late Sun Zhen. He claims to be the true leader and calls on all faithful lords to support him. However, this gives Yuan Shao the perfect excuse against him. Shao proclaims Shu a traitor and begins his own campaign against him. Master Shao Odun, pardon my interruption. We've just received a request for immediate reinforcements from Lord Zhao Ong's unit. What did you say? Yes, I believe Master Cao Ong and Master Cao Unmin were on patrol in the vicinity of Wen Castle. Lord Cao Cao and Dian Wei are inside Wen Castle. What's going on in there? I'm worried about them. And now we have received a request for reinforcements at Wen Castle? This means that Zhang Xu surrender is... Assemble the troops at once! We must hurry to Wan Castle! Zhang Jiu's surrender at his word, but it was merely a ploy devised by his strategist, Jia Xu. Dian Wei took it upon himself to hold off the enemies in the castle so that I could escape. He was already badly injured when I left. In fact, it may be too late to save him. However, I still have to try. I understand. Let's make our way to the castle as quickly as possible. Please wait a moment. We are facing a strategist who managed to catch even Master Cao Cao off guard with his trap. It is dangerous to simply rush in there. He may be expecting Master Cao Cao to return to the castle and prepared another trap in response. In that case, how can we save Master Tian Wei? We launch a feint to draw the enemy's attention and use that opportunity to see what they're planning. I wonder what the enemy strategist is up to. 
If we can learn the overall framework, we'll know how to make our move. Very well. I shall leave the details to you, Guoxia. Everybody, we must hurry to Wen Castle. We will use the decoy unit to draw the enemy in. Meanwhile, I will use that time to suss out their strategy. So this strategist is the one that gave Master Cao Cao such trouble. I am looking forward to turning the tables on him. Alright, I need everyone to defend this area. Let's go! The enemy does not stand a chance against our might! I bet there's food there! Okay, boys! It's time to eat! We are a decoy unit. We need to fight our way up to Wan Castle. We should focus on the officers near here first. Try not to push yourself too hard, Cao Cao. Yo. So this is the power of Cao Cao. I'll retreat and request reinforcements. Okay. The enemy is focused on us. Continue the advance. I've been surrounded by the enemy. Just when I need to deliver this information to Master Guo Jia too. Oh no! We've let the enemy scouts escape! What if word of our plans gets out? Things turned out nicely. Things turned out nicely. I didn't think I was going to make it out of there. Now I can deliver this message to Master Guo Jia. What am I to do? Hmm. About that. Hmm. Right, you are. <laughs> You're finished. I'll grind you to shall we? from the castle nope. to aid Lord Dion Wei. <laughs> Acting as a decoy so our plan could succeed. Why did I agree to this again? I've done as Master Xiaoxu asked. Time to retreat. We've taken down a major enemy. Now they should be focused on us. Lord Dion Wei is fighting at one castle. There is still hope despite the circumstances. I'll grind Knowing you. Knowing Dion Wei, 
I should not have expected anything less. Your time's up! We must smash the enemy base to pieces! You're finished! Report from Lord Hu Chi'e. A number of enemies have made it inside. That is rather careless of them. Are they up to something? Or perhaps they are simply desperate. Either way, we cannot make our move until we deal with the enemy. They are small in number, so Master Hu Chi'e and I can handle them. to defeat Cao Cao! The sheer shame of it! Cao Cao's forces have made it all the way here? Incredible! They're that strong? Everyone, stand your ground! We will use the power of our cavalry to bury Cao Cao's forces for good! That was a truly great performance. If we wait here, the enemy will fall right into our hands. You're finished! Yes, brilliant work. I wasn't expecting to find two such monsters in Cao Cao's army. I have no choice but to surrender. It looks like we've taken care of the bulk of the enemy forces. Now it's time for me to really make my presence felt. Things turned out nicely. Ah, that was an impressive effort. I enjoy just watching you out there. Now, take defensive positions. I'm not finished yet. I'll use every last bit of strength I have to protect my lord! Time's up! This is the end for me. Jashu. My lord is really quite something. I'm glad I was able to serve your finished! Master Cao Cao accepted Zhang Xiu's surrender. Your safety was assured. So why did you try and assassinate our lord? It is the tendency of the victor to rest on his laurels after a battle is won. I simply saw an opening for our side and exploited it. Cao Cao is nervous in regards to his upcoming showdown with Yuan Shao, no? As such, he immediately accepted our surrender. Surprisingly so, in fact. I never thought that I'd be able to take advantage of the situation to overcome such insurmountable odds. Of course, it mattered not in the end. Yes. It was only thanks to the efforts of Master Dion Wei that Master Cao Cao was able to escape. However, things could have easily gone 
quite differently. Where's Dion Wei? He is at peace now. Master Cao Cao, I will resist you no longer. You have bested us. I am ready to meet my fate, whatever you may deem it to be. In that case, Jia Xu, I want you to join me. W wait a minute, my lord. You're planning to let him live? Even after all he's done? If anybody should be punished, it should be me for falling victim to this trap and losing Dion Wei. Jia Xu's talent as a strategist, the skill of Zhang Zhou's men to execute the plot. In my opinion, that is something to be rewarded, not punished. Jia Xu, is it possible that you foresaw this very outcome? <laughs> I wonder. At any rate, I appreciate your rather generous punishment, Master Cao Cao. Wojia, I want you and Shun Yo to keep an eye on Jia Xu, at least for a while. I may covet his talent, but that does not mean we can trust him yet. I must do all that I can to quickly subdue the Central Plains and prepare for Yuan Shao's move south. Our next step is to advance on Shu Province and capture Xia Pi. That means we must face Lu Bu himself. Everyone, begin making the necessary preparations. Uh, I'm sorry, Dian Wei. If only I'd been there, we could have prevented all this. Xu Zhu, you can't blame yourself for this. You simply followed your orders out there. No, the responsibility for this falls squarely on my shoulders. Do you suppose Dian Wei would approve of me turning Jia Xu to our side? Lord Cao Cao. Dian Wei was not the type to hold a grudge. Cao Cao, I imagine you know that better than anybody. Yeah, he's right. I'm sure he's smiling to think it's just the type of move you'd make. Although, I imagine he must be a bit lonely right now. My lord, what do you say we raise a toast in his honor? Indeed. Tonight, let us celebrate Dian Wei's life as we mourn his death. Master Cao Cao, you must excuse this sudden visit. My sworn brother, Lu Bei, is in Xiao Pei, which has come under siege from Lu Bu's forces. I wish to request that you loan me some of your troops to repel Lu Bu. Hmm. So Lu Bu's finally making his move. He'd be better off staying in Sha Pi. There is merit in us eliminating Lu Bu from the equation. However, if we move now, Liu Biao may strike us from behind. Shunyo, tell me what you think. Lu Bu is currently the only active threat to us. Plus, there are no other forces that will go to his aid. We should take out Lu Bu before we face Yuan Shao. However, a siege will take time. If somebody else uses that opportunity to make their move, we'll be in trouble. In that case, how about this strategy? We dam the Yishui and Sushui rivers that run near Shapi, inundating the castle with water. That is a brilliant idea. We will channel the water into the castle at Shapi. We simply need to seize control of the floodgates to make it happen. Very well. We shall proceed with your plan. Begin making preparations for the flood attack. 
This is our best chance to slay the demon Lu Bu. I must return to Xiao Pei with all haste. Excuse me. It must have been difficult for him to break through Lu Bu's siege, let alone make it all the way here. Yet now, he looks to do it all over again for his master's sake. He uses his considerable might to fight for what he believes to be just. He is truly worthy of the moniker, God of War. Huh. It was his actions that led to Lu Bu's rise in the first place. That's rather bitter of you, Shahodun. Although I feel I could utilize him properly if he were under my employ. Don't you agree? You're still hanging on to that dream? He will never leave Liu Bei's side. You heard him yourself. No. I suppose not. However, it is clear that the lowly Liu Bei does not deserve a warrior such as Guan Yu. The best way to bring down Sha Pi Castle is with a flood attack. I am confident that Master Guo Jia and I will be successful. A flood attack? Guo Jia and Shun Yo are brilliant indeed. Everyone! This is our chance to rid ourselves of Lu Bu for good! It's me, the Straw Shoemaker. Recently, I've been making more mats than shoes, though. We got kicked out of Shopee for a start. So all the rough sleeping means mats are more useful. But I can't match Lord Liu Bei's mats either. They are so warm and so light. I've felt the greatness of Lord Liu Bei once again. How does he do it? Every night I lie awake wondering just what it is I lack. 